Hi everybody, I just want to give you a quick tutorial on how to use Genius Scan. I'm going to show you with this document here, so kind of like an exam, I put my name and page numbers at the top, see name, page numbers, and I've got one, two, three, and on the back of page three I did a fourth page so you guys can see what it looks like when the, when the pen bleeds through. So if you guys are using a felt tip marker like I typically do for lectures, you'll, you'll see how, how problematic it is to, to use the back of a page. Anyway, let's begin. So the first thing you're going to need to do, of course, is download Genius Scan, which you can get from your app store, whether it's an iPhone or um, whether it's an Android. And once it's installed, it's going to look like this, right? And then you can see in the bottom right-hand corner that there's a plus sign. And the plus sign is how you start creating a new scan. So if you hit plus and you put your document on a high contrast uh, surface, like, like, for example, my desk, uh, you just line it up and it will automatically take the picture, but if it doesn't automatically take it, you can hit, hit it with your finger. And so now that I've taken one picture, you can see that I've got a spinning little one here. So it tells me I've got one page so far. Just move on to the next page, don't do anything. And then you're gonna to prepare to scan the second page. Line it up, kind of like uh, if you guys have ever done a, a check deposit at your bank. Let me move this out of the way here. I got a second page now. And I get a nice third page. Got a third page. And I'm not sure I like the way that that, that looked, but we'll see if we can go back and edit it here when we're done. So I'm going to do the fourth page now. Good. So I'm going to say I'm done. And I'll take a look at it. Oh, I don't like my third page at all. So I'm going to edit this. I'm going to delete my third page. So, so what I've done here, let me show you what my third page looks like. So you see on my third page? So my first, my first page, my second page, these all came out okay. My third page, it just looks like a picture of my desk space. And then my fourth page is okay. So I'm going to go back to that third page and I'm going to edit it. And in the bottom right hand in the bottom right hand corner here, there's a little magic wand. I'm going to press that. And I think what I'm just going to do is I'm going to delete it. And when you click on delete, you get this option here that says retake. And I'm just going to retake that page. So this is page three I'm going to retake. So I'm going to find my page three. And let's get it. Alright, so now I'm done. So let me just go through it now. So now I've got page one, page two, page three looks good, and there's page four. So I've done my scan. I'm satisfied with the way it looks. And so what I'm going to do now is you see up at the top where it's got the date, I'm going to click on that with my finger, and it gives you the option to change the name. So I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to delete everything that's there, and I'm going to give it a plausible name, like for example, Daigle, name of exam. I use the underscore characters as spaces, by the way. There's a long story behind that. Uh, and then I'm going to write an example. So I'm going to say done. And now it's changed the name to Daigle Exam Example. All right, so that's done. I've got a, I've got a good scan. And if I press the, the back arrow up here, you can see. Oh, let me click on here. But now in my Genius Scan, I have this one document. So I can click on that document again, and I can flip through it and I'm still satisfied with it, everything's good. In the very bottom right hand corner, you can see we've got the box with the up arrow. I'm gonna click on that. And it says export document. And the very top one says export to email. And I'm gonna export it to email. Now make sure that you've got your GMU email account set up with your phone, Android or, or Apple, uh, because th this, this works much more effectively. Um, and moreover, you should only be sending correspondence from and receiving correspondence from your Gmail address. So uh, I'm going to send it to myself. And it's away. You get this little pop up that tells you, you know, you can, uh, the email will be sent by the email app. Remember to check there in case it's not received. 
So you can double check your email, make sure you've received it. I'll show you here on my phone that I have in fact received it. There's my email and, and you can see I can download it and even take a look at it on my phone as a PDF. So um, that's great, but what we're going to need to do before you guys leave the exam is you're, we're going to need to verify a receipt of it. So, so just, just, just make sure uh, that that's exactly what you've done. You don't leave the exam until we've verified um, receipt of your document. So let me just switch over real quick, and I want to show you what it's going to look like for, for the people who are grading it, myself and, and, and TAs. Um, so if you look in my email here, Here's the one I just sent. I'll double click it. And this is looking at the actual PDF document itself. Maybe make it a little smaller. You guys can see. So this is what we can actually look at. And we can say, okay, there's everything. And by the way, you can see here, here's the fourth page. I told you that's on the back of the third page. And you can see that the way that the felt tip marker bleeds through. All right, everyone, I think that's it. I think that should get you started with using Genius Scan. It's really easy to use, and um, you know, hopefully you can finish off your exams relatively quickly, get the scans done, get them sent, and move on with your day. It's beautiful outside. Go out and enjoy it. All right, you guys, we'll see you shortly for the exam.